And I'll tell you a quick story. This was told to me by a woman named Joan McCord, who was one of the for world's first female criminologists, by the way, a PhD from Temple University, a genius level, genius level person. Very, tremendous integrity, tough, tough, tough person. She did a study in a place called Somerville in the United States, in Massachusetts, in the 1930s. Famous study. And so here was the deal. They'd identified a bunch of inner city kids in rough neighborhoods and felt, you know, that they were more likely to be on a criminal track. Criminal, antisocial, undereducated, alcohol, you know, the whole, the whole dismal, wretched, underclass phenomena thing was going on. And so they thought, well, let's do an intervention. Let's set up programs to help these kids and see if we can, see if we can change their developmental pathway. So they designed a fine study, man. They had the kids... I'll get the details wrong, but I got the, I got the story right. Um, they had the kids, they made them more literate, they, they educated them more. They had their parents take training courses. They did social skills training. Like, they did all sorts of things to try to make the kids' lives turn out better. And, to top it all off, because the kids were stuck in the inner city, they took them all out to summer camp for a couple of weeks a year. And so they could get away from the city and, you know, enjoy the countryside and have a little bit of a a vacation, a little taste of a higher quality life, yeah. So great, everyone's thrilled with the damn program. The kids are having a great time at camp, the counselors are thrilled, the psychologists, they think they're doing a wonderful job. But great, it's working beautifully, except then they did the data analysis. Guess what happened? The kids in the, in the treatment group, there was a control group, right, that didn't get all this special treatment, randomly assigned, it was a very nice experiment. The kids in the treatment group did worse on virtually everything that was measured. Worse. Why? Don't put antisocial kids together in the same camp for two weeks during the year. <laughs> right, right, because what happens is that the bad kids teach the slightly less bad kids to be worse. It's a well-documented phenomena. That's why what happens in prisons happens in prisons. What we do with criminals is the worst thing you could possibly do to criminals if you don't want them to continue to be criminals. Except for the fact that you keep them in there till they're old enough, generally speaking, so they're less likely to engage in criminal activity. But what was learned from the Somerville study was, don't be so sure your good intentions are going to produce the results that you intend, because they probably won't. And they probably won't for reasons that you never even imagined. And the other one was, don't group bad kids with good kids on the assumption that the good kids will make the bad kids better, because that isn't what happens. What happens is the reverse. If you put two or three bad kids with a bunch of good kids, then the good kids get worse. The bad kids don't get better. Very well documented social science finding. Well, the reason I'm telling you the Somerville story is because, God, who could argue with that study, right? It's like, you, these kids were poor, they were struggling. It's like, you want to you lift them up, you want to make their life better, you do this wonderful, expensive, well-motivated experiment. And then you run the damn data analysis and you find out that there was one thing wrong with your social intervention philosophy that you didn't understand and you actually made it worse. Well, that's a, and so jo Joan McCord, she spent much of the rest of her life going around telling social scientists, when you run a social experiment, politicians, the same thing, when you run a social experiment, especially on a large number of people, especially without their consent, then gather the data and do the follow-up study. Because it's highly probable that you'll find that what you did didn't work, or maybe it even worked backwards. And you'll never know that unless you do the study. And so what people took away from that, the social interventionist types took away from that was, whatever you do with your social intervention policy, don't run the study. <laughs> right, right. That was the wrong lesson, by the way.